Hi everybody. It's Saturday at Tiger Lily and I'm bringing Saturday Sampler Block to you for August. Now I realize this is not the last Saturday in August. It's the first Saturday in September. Is that right? It might even be the second Saturday in September. Anyway, I'm here finally and this is the block. So for August, it's in your little house will go a sailboat. I believe your sailboat is going to be a little different than my sailboat in that my sailboat has this piece up here like sky and your sailboat has that piece down here like water. So it's up to you how you do yours, you know. Quilting is all how you choose to do it. So it's basically just half square triangles and a square to add on the end and then a rectangle. And this is um, a half square triangle and this is a half square triangle and these are two squares. So it's all written up in your instructions and it's really pretty simple. And I hope you enjoy doing it. And I'll be back soon with September's block which is ready to pick up at this time. You can get it any time you want between now and whenever, now and forever, okay? And I'm in this department today because I wanted to show you some fall things. We kind of zoomed right into Christmas and um, we have a tendency to let fall go because all the Christmas fabric comes in and that's what happens. So we've been working diligently on um, samples of fall things and you'll see behind me here is a pattern by Suzanne's Art House and it's called Log Cabin Pumpkins and isn't it beautiful and Jody picked all those fabrics and it just it just came out so nice and of course Joanne put it together and Jody quilted it and I put the binding on and then next to that are Falling Leaves, which is by Creekside Stitches. And that pattern, um, I love her patterns. They're just, you know, easy to read, easy to follow, and always come out wonderfully. So we have both of those runners in kits. This is Falling Leaves, and it is 10 and a half by 45. And it includes the backing and the binding in the quilt, I mean, in the kit, and it sells for $37.95. The Log Cabin Pumpkins is this kit right here. All those little strips are cut to the size that you need, one long strip, and that is $36.95. And that has the binding in it, but not the backing. And we also have crock pot placemats. And this is my design. And actually, I named it that because you put dinner in the crock pot and you go make the placemats. And the placemats are done long before the crock pot is done. So they're very easy to do. And uh, this is the pattern, and this is the kit, and that's what's on the back. So this is back and front, and the back self-binds, so the back comes around to bind. It's a great pattern, if I must say so myself. You won't just make this one set. You just keep making them over and over again, because they're quilt as you go, and they're just really easy and fun. Okay, so we have a couple of those kits, and... We have this runner that I made. It's um, The fabric is just gorgeous. And so all I did was put the fall fabric on one side. It's not pieced. That's just how the border, it's a border print, and that's just how it comes. And then on the back side, I just put this beautiful, sparkly Christmas fabric. And so you have one runner that fills two needs. You can put it on the table now and keep it on there until... Well, actually, you keep it on there all winter pretty much because it's poinsettias and they're around for a long time. So that is also kitted up. And where might that kit be? Let me look. Hang on one sec.
And that is right here. It's $21.95 and it is the back, the front, and the binding, okay? And so all you really basically have to do is put it together, quilt it, just put two pieces of fabric together, quilt them. I did it as a rectangle and then I cut the corners off and bound it. So it's very quick and very beautiful, I think, okay? We also have some Halloween things in, and the only couple things I brought over here with me are this little charm pack, which is called Too Cute to Spook by me and my sister Designs, and Midnight Magic 2 from April Rosenthal of Prairie Grass Patterns. Okay, so that's here too. So that's my story for today. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for participating in Saturday Sampler. And um, be safe, have a good weekend, and I'll see you in a couple weeks. Mwah. Toodaloo!